Hello and welcome to the first video in my knitting series. Since it's the first video I thought I would talk about yarn and needles. The yarn I'm going to use, as you can see here, is double knit, which I sort of refer to as just regular yarn. It's used, usable for most everyday projects and this one is 100% acrylic. In the US this is yarn weight number 4, which is medium. Now if we take a look at the label, apart from the material you can see at the top, you can see all the care instructions underneath. Starting from the bottom left of the care symbols, you can see that it tells you you can't use bleach. It's machine washable at 40 degrees. You can cool iron the yarn. You can dry clean it and you can put it on the cool tumble dry. At the bottom you can see that they recommend to you the needle size you should use with this yarn weight. It tells you to use the 4mm needle size which is the equivalent of the USA size 6 needles. This is just recommended, it's not an absolute, you don't have to follow it. On the right at the bottom it tells you how long the strand of yarn is. Here it says it's 332 yards long, which is the same as 304 metres. Then in the centre what you can see is the gauge, which is a grid, and on the bottom it says 22 STS, which is 22 stitches. On the left it says 30 rows, at the top it says 10 times 10 centimetres, and on the right it says 4 times 4 inches. Now a lot of knitters don't bother or really don't like making the gauge or some people call it the swatch because it's an extra bit of knitting you need to do before you even start your project. However, it is extremely important to do especially if the product you're knitting is going to be worn or it needs to be a particular size. You don't want to miss out on doing the swatch because you don't want to and then later you end up with a jumper that's too big or too small or gloves that don't fit so it's very important to do. What you need to do is knit a square of your yarn using the needles recommended on the yarn label. You then measure a 4 times 4 inch area or a 10 times 10 centimeter area if you're working in metric, in this square, this net knitted square or swatch, and you count how many rows and how many stitches across are in that area on your knitted swatch. The yarn label here says that you should have 22 stitches going across and 30 rows going up, and that all should fit into your 4 times 4 inch swatch. If it turns out that you have more than 22 stitches or 30 rows in your 4 times 4 inch area, this means you knit with high tension. To loosen your tension, you'll need to go up a needle size and then redo the swatch and hopefully it will match the guide given here. If it turns out that you have less than 30 rows or less than 22 stitches in your 4 times 4 inch area, it means that you have loose tension. Now most knitters don't knit with perfect tension so don't worry if this is the case. You will need to use needles slightly um, smaller in size and try the swatch again and hopefully your swatch will then fit in within the guidelines listed. A bit further around the label you'll see the barcode and the price plus the name of the shade of colour of the yarn, which is copper, and then at the bottom it says dye followed by a number. This number is the dye lot. Now when yarn is um, dyed to make the particular colour you want, they're dyed in batches, and each batch or each lot has a particular number. So what you need to do when you're making one project that requires multiple balls of yarn 
is by the balls of yarn that have the same die lot number. Otherwise, the balls of yarn might slightly differ in the shade of colour which can show up especially when you're making something in a solid colour. Now as for the needles I'm going to use in this series, I'm mainly going to be using straight needles. These needles have a point at one end and a stopper at the other but you can follow along using circular needles instead if you like. I will be doing videos on how to use circular needles, double pointing needles, plus a separate video on gauge. So please stay tuned for that. Now one more thing I wanted to talk about is ply. Now in some countries ply can refer to the weight of the yarn, but if you untwist the yarn like so, ply usually refers to the number of strands of yarn that are twisted together to make the end product. In this case, as you can see, there are three strands that are twisted together and therefore it's a three ply yarn. Usually yarn is between one ply, which is just one single strand, and maybe about five ply. Thanks for watching.